Buckingham Palace has stepped up its denials that Prince Andrew had sex with an underage girl. It's gone as far as to name the alleged victim, according to Britain's Sunday papers. The palace had already denied the accusations, which came out in court documents filed in Florida. They allege a disgraced American financier, Jeffrey Epstein, forced the girl, ID'd by the palace as Virginia Roberts, to have sex with the Duke of York in New York and London, as well as on a private Caribbean island that was part of an orgy with other underage girls. The allegations against me are totally made up. Also named in the allegation is famed Harvard law professor Alan Dershowitz. He's among several figures in the court filing linked to Epstein. I don't know this woman. I never had sex with her or any other below-age woman or any woman having any association with Jeffrey Epstein. I wasn't in the places at the times that she alleges. If Prince Andrew is as innocent as I am, and I must of course presume he is, he should be fighting back in the way that I'm fighting back. Epstein was convicted in the U.S. on state child sex charges. The filing by Roberts is part of a civil case against the U.S. government. It argues the rights of Epstein's alleged victims were harmed in the plea deal negotiated with him. New York Prince Andrew is unwillingly back in the spotlight this week after a court filing in Florida directly accused the royal of having sex with a minor back in the early 2000s. The accusations stem from the prince's friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, an American financier who was convicted in 2008 of soliciting sex from a minor. Two women have filed a long-running lawsuit against Epstein, claiming he repeatedly sexually abused them and loaned them out to his friends and associates. This week, two more women filed a motion to join the suit against Epstein. One of them, Jane Doe No. 3, names Prince Andrew as one of the men Epstein forced her to have sex with. The filing reads in part, Epstein instructed Jane Doe No. 3 that she was to give the prince whatever he demanded and require Jane Doe No. 3 to report back to him on the details of the sexual abuse. The filing prompted a rare response from Buckingham Palace, which told the press, For the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. Prince Andrew's ties to Epstein have gotten him in trouble before. In 2011, the prince was forced to publicly distance himself from Epstein and resign from his role as a trade envoy for the UK. The filing also names some other alleged abusers, including law professor Alan Dershowitz, who told Politico the claims were totally made up and totally fabricated from beginning to end, and threatened to take legal action against his accusers. But in an interview with The Guardian, Jane Doe No. 3 stood by her claims, saying, these types of aggressive attacks on me are exactly the reason why sexual abuse victims typically remain silent, and the reason why I did for a long time. I'm not going to be bullied back into silence. The Royal is not a named party in the suit, which is directed at federal prosecutors for not pushing forward with the initial accusations. He has yet to personally respond to the allegations. Buckingham Palace has strongly denied the Duke of York has committed any impropriety. Mid claims he was named in court documents in the U.S. related to a convicted pedophile. According to newspaper reports, a woman alleged in papers filed in Florida that she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew when she was 17, which is under Florida's age of consent. The claim is believed to have been made as part of a lawsuit in connection with American billionaire and convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. He was photographed with Prince Andrew in New York two years after the Americans released from prison in 2009, and their friendship was a source of controversy. The woman making the allegations claims that between 1999 and 2002, she was forced to have sexual relations with the prince when she was a minor in London, New York, and on a private Caribbean island owned by Epstein. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman said the matter relates to long-standing and ongoing civil proceedings in the U.S., to which the Duke of York is not a party. She added any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorical. The allegations read like the blackest exploits of the rich and powerful. An American billionaire forcing an underage girl to have sex with his friends, one of whom, according to court papers filed in the US, was Prince Andrew. The royal and known friend of the convicted sex offender and man in question, Jeffrey Epstein. In response, Buckingham Palace has taken the unusual step of issuing an emphatic denial, and Prince Andrew has returned to the UK from a ski trip in Switzerland amid the swirling controversy which shows no sign of letting up. The accusation is reportedly contained in a motion filed in Florida, part of a lawsuit over how federal prosecutors handled the Jeffrey Epstein case. 
The woman named in reports as Virginia Roberts claims that between 1999 and 2002, she was forced by Epstein while underage to have sexual relations with Prince Andrew. The American billionaire was jailed for 18 months in 2008 for soliciting a minor for prostitution. Prince Andrew was photographed with him in New York two years after his release from prison. This isn't the first time his connections with Epstein have dogged the prince either. He was forced to step down from his role as the UK's roving business ambassador in 2011, following intense scrutiny over the pair's friendship. A pre-interview you did with our producer, it appears you're not only prepared to defend yourself, but you also are about to go on the offensive. So let's get to the basics. Your response to the allegations that you had sex with an underage girl uh, all those years ago. What is your response? Totally false and made up. She claims I had sex with her in Jeffrey Epstein's island. The records will show I was on that island once with my wife, my daughter, a prominent Harvard Business School professor, his wife, in-laws and children. I was never out of the sight of my wife. She claims I had sex with her on Jeffrey Epstein's ranch in New Mexico. Records will show I was at the ranch once with friends, with my wife and my daughter, for about an hour. The house wasn't complete. Epstein wasn't even in it. There are no girls around. She claims I had sex with her in the airplanes. Uh, manifests of the flights will show I was never on the airplanes with Did her. you have she any contact with Jane Doe number three at all, Alan? Did you ever no, meet her? No, I don't even know who she is. No, I've never seen her. I've never met her. I don't know who she is. And her lawyers have to know this. Her lawyers, Paul Cassell, a former federal judge, and Brad Ed Edwards deliberately and willfully filed this in a pleading which they knew I had no opportunity to respond to in court without doing any investigation. If they had simply investigated the manifest of the airplanes, if they had checked my travel records, if they had asked me and I could have given them the names of these people who were witnesses, they would know or is totally Well, let me ask you the these question. These lawyers that... engaged in unethical behavior and should be disbarred. Well, let me ask you a question I'm sure you would ask them. These are not guys who just fell off a turnip truck. Alan, these, these right. are well-seasoned lawyers. One is a former federal judge. Why would they drag right. you, why would they drag Prince Andrew into a case like this if they thought they had absolutely no merit? Because they filed a paper in which they didn't ask to try to prove it. They didn't say, we allege it, we want to prove it. They just threw it in there. It's the legal equivalent of scribbling something on, on a toilet stall and then running away. They didn't think there would be any response, and they will rue the day that they filed this unethical Why would two seasoned lawyers they, think there would be no respond. response if you drag Alan Dershowitz into a lawsuit like this? Because I'm not a party to the lawsuit. I have no opportunity to respond. They didn't ask for a hearing. The woman has said she wants to have a full investigation. I welcome a full investigation. I'm not trying to silence her. I've challenged her to repeat the statement to the press so that I can sue for defamation. She has repeated the statements about the prince. She has studiously refused to produce the statements about me. I have challenged her to file rape criminal charges against me because if she does, she exposes herself to criminal prosecution. I have challenged the lawyers to repeat these statements in public so there can be a defamation hearing. They want to just throw this stink bomb and then avoid any responsibility for it, they will not get away with this. There will be legal proceedings, there will be hearings, they will be deposed, I will be deposed, the records will be produced, the truth will come out, and it will show these two unethical lawyers should be disbarred. I am completely, absolutely innocent of any and all charges. You get the feeling this isn't the last we've heard of this. Alan Dershowitz, Alan, thank absolutely you for... Absolutely not. Thank